Hello there. Yeah, I saw the gap here and um, I came in to fill it just now. I was quite surprised to see there was a, a gap of, well, not a total gap because there's Spanish happening now, isn't there? Spanish. Hello. Hi there, everybody. Well, Aga and Krim, are you on the mic there? Hello. Hello there. Hi, have you been to English classes today on Verbling? Um, for me, it's the first time for today. Oh, really? I, I just came uh, at late notice because I just saw that there was no English right now. And so I th thought I'd just fill this gap in. Um, it's quite late here. It's, like, it's 11 o'clock. don't usually have a lesson at this time. So I thought I'd just have this one now. Um, good to see you here. That's great. Krim, are you on the mic too? Yes, I am. Great, good. So we've got two at least, that's good. I had some problems earlier today because I couldn't connect. I had some trouble on the internet. So the first thing I'd like you to do then is just open that page. Can you see the link on the verb link? Yes. So let's open that up and figure out what we've got to do. A bit of reading, first of all. Um, I might screen share it too so that I can read and talk to you at the same time otherwise uh, it gets difficult for me to read. So I'm going to open it as well. Um, I've got it open in my Chrome. I'm just going to move it somewhere so that I can see the Hangout and read it at the same time. Okay. So there we are. And uh, let's get going. So I can see it on the screen as well. Okay, great. So um, it's a kind of gap fill that we're going to do. First of all, we're going to read something to get some information about what's going on. And then we're going to try to use that information to fill in the gaps. Well, in this gap fill, there's not always just one answer. So I'd like to see what you suggest and um, we'll discuss your answers. So we have a letter there, but first of all, at the top here, let's just check what we have to do. So, um, Aga, can you just read the task at the top? Of course. For question 1 to, to 14, read the notes made about a museum inspection and use the information to complete the full mark letter to the heads of the museum. The words you need do not occur in the notes. Use no more than two words for each gap. Yes, okay, good. That was nicely read. The only thing I'd like to say is that the word occur, because you said occur, it's more occur. Okay. So, yeah, more like that. Okay. So, okay, right. So, um, we'll we'll read these notes then. So, Krim can read a few of the notes here, and then we'll see what we can do with the gaps. So, um, it's all about a museum inspection. I don't know what's going on yet. So, uh, Krim, can you just just read a little bit for the uh, of the notes there? The notes made. Okay. Notes made following visit to the home of Ray David Musum of uh, Meaning Technology. Yeah, is it meaning? Is it? How did you say that? Meaning? Ah, it's mining. It's mining. Mining, yes. Mining. Yeah, mining technology. Have you heard of um, Davy? Because actually, I I haven't. I had heard of him before this, so I I picked this. But I've heard of Davy because maybe he's well known in my country. Um, he invented something. Do you remember? Uh, do you know anything about? Have you heard of Humphrey Davy? Uh, 
No. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't heard of him. Um, but I think he invented a kind of lamp that burns underneath the co in in the coal mines. Does anybody know what's dangerous down inside a coal mine? I didn't get the question. If you go down into a dark coal mine what is dangerous if you have if you have a, a lamp or a, a light you know in the old days and it's not electric sorry what is coal coal what does it mean coal is a kind of fuel kind of fossil fuel it's black and solid. It comes from the, the petrified forests, the forests from a long time ago, and you burn it on a fire to make energy. Okay. Coal. So you know this, don't you, coal? I mean, you know what I mean now. Yes, now yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, you know, you go down a mine shaft, usually there's a kind of big wheel at the top, and it lowers you down, you go right down underground and it's dark down there and they have to dig out the coal so they used to use some kind of lamps with a, na a naked flame. Now what might happen? Can burn you, maybe. Well, it could be much worse than the light burning you, or the lamp burning you. I think there's some kind of gas down there sometimes. Um, probably will explode. Yeah, there could be a big explosion. There were some big explosions. So, uh, well, they used to do, try a few things. They tried taking little birds down. There's a canary bird. Have you heard of a canary bird? Ah, yeah, you know this bird. It um, sings a song, and people keep it in a cage. I have one in my home, actually. <laughs> You've got one. You've got a canary. Yes. What color is it? It's yellow. Yellow birds. Yeah, the, you know, there's a football team in England called Norwich City, yes. and uh, that their f nickname. Their nickname is the, the Canaries. Yeah. Do you know why they have this nickname? Probably because they were the, the, the yellow. Yeah, that's right. That's a good guess. That's exactly right. They have a yellow football kit. Yeah. That's right. So, we need to get this information. So, Aga, can you just... Um, read some of this information. Um, well, Krim was reading a bit. How, where did you read, Kim? You just read, the. you only read the title really, didn't you? So maybe you should read a bit more. Maybe let's split it up, see how much there is. We've got uh, that much information there. So I think we'll split it 50-50. Um, maybe if you read okay. the first half, okay? The first half. Okay. Doors are still closed at uh, ten. Uh, what's that? Ten twelve a.m. Ten twelve a.m. Advertised hours ten a.m. Uh, to five p.m. Yeah, you're right to question it because ten twelve shouldn't be written with a point. It should be written with uh, a colon times. Yeah. So there's a problem there. Uh, sometimes the text on the computer comes um, f through a kind of text processor and some sometimes things go wrong. So that shouldn't be like that. That should be a colon. You're right. Okay, let's read on. Men who unlocked the door gave no reason, was rather rude and locked a mess. Cost three dollars to get in. No ticket. Issue, issues. Yeah, you know, you speak about issuing a ticket sometimes. It's like, here you are, here's a ticket. 
uh, they make a ticket for you, issue a ticket, they say sometimes. Two exhibi exhibition rooms closed, no idea why. Two other rooms in in semi darkness, six out of ten of uh, the kinetic. Kinetic. Kinetic is a kind of. Well, tell me, what is kinetic? Kinetic. What is it to do with? There's a kind of kinetic energy. If something is kinetic, what is it doing? Connected to motion? Yes, it's, it's to do with motion, that's right. In physics, they speak about kinetic energy. Motion, motion that's right, yes. Okay. By the way, um, you know, I don't know about you, Aga, but I can hear you, a very, you well, very well, but Krim, you sound a bit quiet. Yes, because uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm struggling to hear you a little bit. All right then. So, um, kinetic displays in the children's gallery did not work when the buttons were pressed. Great. Okay. And now, Aga, just finish off these notes. These are notes that he made. We're mm -hmm. going to use these notes to fill in the gaps. Okay. Okay. There were no labels on 30 exhibits and another 10 had labels too close to the door. The Ace Cafe had run out of coffee and my Collier's sandwich, prawns and mayonnaise was proudly left over from the day before. Conclusion, food and actual visit, very disappointing. Now, there's a word there, Collier. Have you ever seen that word before? Sounds familiar, but I'm not sure about Well, maybe. sometimes a, co a coal mine, if it's just one pit, um, informally they're called pits because a pit is a hole in the ground. But sometimes they're called collieries, and the collier is a man, like a miner. So it's another word for a miner, really. So now um, we have to read the letter. There's only two of us here, so I think we don't have to worry too much about making a lot of noise. So we can just speak about it, but we'll try and take turns of, of a sort, because I think there's um, only two of us, two or three of us, three including me, of course, but uh, there's, there's not too many of us, so we can just speak, I think, quite freely. So um, we understand what we've got to do. Yes. Uh, we can put one word in of our choice. We can actually put two words in the gap, but no more than two words. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can just discuss it and see which words we fancy, which words we think look good. So um, I think we're, we're kind of all, we can all speak a, a about it, but we can take turns as well. So um, we'll take turns one. Uh, for one and then two for another, but then we'll speak about it quite freely because there's only a, a small number of us here. So let's go. Um, Aga, can you do the first gap? Now there's quite a bit of reading before you get to the first gap, so let's see if we can do it. So read the, the letter, dear Mr. Dear Dr. Crompton, and read up to the first gap and then stop and think about it. Okay. Dear Dr. Crompton, as part of our survey of local museums, a representative of the uh, Barchester Consumers Group visited your museum on 21st August. We are sure that in the interest of providing a better service to the public, you would like to receive a summary of her... Okay, so we'll think about that one. Um, but. I'd like to say something about the date because I would say on the 21st of August, even though you don't see the and of in the date, with the date this way, written this way, I would personally say on the 21st of August. If you see it the other way around, like August and then 21, then some people might not do that. They might say August 21. But this way around, I, I think it sounds better to add in the uh, prepositions and articles. So okay. we, are, we are sure that in the interest of providing a better service to the public, 
you would like to receive a summary of her so any idea anybody hi Emra so we're, we're trying to fit one or two words maximum of two words here as part of our survey of local museums a representative of the Barchester Consumers Group visited your museum on the 31st of oh, the 21st of August we are sure that in the interest of providing a better service to the public you would like to receive a summary of her I've got a word that might fit there does anybody else I have something but I think it's uh, it will not sound too good well tell us your idea and let's think about it mm. summary of her achievements yeah I'm not really sure I really like it because when some she came round and had a look you know she was some kind of expert or advisor she came and had a look and uh, so um, she I don't think we can really we're not really testing her or she she didn't really have any uh, special things to do she was just um, yeah well maybe visit so let's see if that works uh, that's not the word I was thinking of um, um, I have two other words it's got to be a noun hasn't it you're right about that so achievement is right as a noun but can anybody give me any others we got visit let's see if that works you would like to receive a summary of her visit kind of works doesn't it it's not too bad but I don't think it, it misses the point slightly because she's I'm going to find a word which is more to do with why she was there I've got two words here now um, Krim have you got a word no, not exactly. I'll tell you my two words there's, remember there's no right or wrong about this one of the words I found was um, findings and the other word was recommendations because she's there to advise us so that's why I thought I would use those words but her visit is okay too that's not bad right so uh, Karim I'd like you to try the next one see what you can come up with with number two It seems that all thought you advertise and uh, of uh, 10 I am. Mm. Yeah, you might have to read a bit more here because we've got two gaps, haven't we? Or three gaps very close to each other. So probably we have to all share them. So I think you might have to read all the way through there uh, to the door and then we'll think about all of them and we'll just have a go and make our suggestions. So, read it all, all the way through. Uh, till uh, the door? Yeah, read it up to the door. Okay, it seems that all thoughts you advertise are of uh, 10 am. There was a 12 minute dinner and was offered by the attendant who unlocked the door. Yeah, so let's have a look at what's going on. We have to try and understand the situation here. It seems that although you advertise an... So what could it be that that's a noun, number two? An opening? Entry. An entry? Well, um, yeah, but not quite, because if we say an opening or an entry, um, an entry is kind of a place where, like a doorway or something, isn't it? Where's the, or like a bit more like an entrance, an entry, an entry. Um, actually, is entry a real noun? Can we use entry as a noun? An entry, because entrance is a noun, and so an entry might be an ad an adjective. Can you find a a place or a way to use the word entry as a noun? 
I'm not sure about that because entrance price, entry price. Uh, so I'm not too keen on that word entry here because I'm not even sure it can be a noun. Um, and opening, maybe an opening time would be good because we are allowed two words, remember. An opening time. What else could it be? That's not bad, is it? Opening time. So there's one possibility. Uh, maybe there are others. What about number three? There was a 12 minute delay. That's the one I had in my mind as well. I think um, delay sounds quite good there. I think that makes a lot of sense. 12 minute delay and um, what happened in four was offered by the attendant who unlocked the door. Yeah, that's a tricky one, isn't it? Four. Which would be a time either. Say that word again because you're a bit quiet. I said the, the first one was 12 minutes delay and uh, maybe 20 minutes was offered by the attendant or something like that. 20 minutes was offered by the attendant who unlocked the door. Hmm, maybe, but I can't understand what that could be. Uh, 20 minutes, what was offered? You know, maybe we have to come back to that one. Uh, 20 minutes was offered by the attendant who unlocked the door. I find it hard to understand actually that one, but I like the word delay. I think delays is definitely there. Delay looks really good. Hi, Alpha Pilot. Are you going to help us out here? So we've done number three for sure. I think four. You think non non explanation uh, and n well, that looks good, but not quite non. I think a no explanation looks much better doesn't it yeah Dwight I like that that's good and let me read it through and see if it sounds good it seems that although you advertise an opening time of 10 a.m. there was a 12 minute delay and no explanation was offered by the attendant who unlocked the door now that all kind of works doesn't it so I think we're looking good here so, Argo, it's back to you, and um, we want to go to in fact. Mm -hmm. In fact, his behavior was rather unpleasant, and his uniform could not be described. That's very interesting what you said there. Behavior was rather unpleasant, because I'm thinking about the collocation here. Um, do we describe people's behavior as rather unpleasant. Um, not quite sure we do really, even though it might be unpleasant. So, appearance. I don't know, I might be... Sometimes we s describe appearance as um, something, don't we? It's... What other words would fit here? It's some, it's a noun, um, okay, so behavior was rather unpleasant and his uniform could not be described. Hmm. I have another word anyway, but I want to see what you come up with first of all. His personal personality maybe. Yeah, and I have an, a word which is more about his personality. I didn't really want to use the word personality because it sounds a little bit strange if I say his personality was rather unpleasant because, you know, his personality is is something which you don't notice immediately. I mean, if you speak to somebody who, if you meet somebody new, then you see something about the way they behave. Um, I went for the, I chose a word, um, his manner. 
or here's some but behavior is interesting too personality I'm not so keen on because we we don't know him well enough we've only just met him he's just there he did something so how can we speak about his personality we can speak about the way he behaved but I didn't want to use the word behavior his behavior was rather unpleasant um, I prefer manner seems to, it seems to collocate better but okay let's go on and see what comes up next so um, can can we try Alpha are you there on the mic Alpha pilot are you um, audible are you there on the mic you're not that you're not there on the mic okay so Krim let's read on we've got um, could not be described could not be described it is pretty advanced I suppose yes because we're looking into it quite deeply and uh, it's a little tricky but Aga do you have anything for number six probably could not be described properly so you're going for properly are you for number six yeah that's the only thing that came to my mind yeah let's think about that one um, could not be described I think um, I'm going to have an as here an as kind of word it's a kind of understatement it's just saying he, his behavior wasn't I wasn't really happy with this man um, his manner was rather unpleasant and his uniform could not be described as um, what kind of as what word was yours after as um, and his uniform could not be described at all um. at all <laughs> yeah that's funny I like that um, I don't think it is the answer but uh, well is it a good answer it, it's a bit strange because I'm sure we could describe his uniform um, so I think we're trying to say what it was like we're trying to say what his uniform was like and sometimes we can use a phrase like could not be described as tidy or uh, could not be described as um, clean or something like that but I'm not sure we'll come back to that one I think we'll have to uh, play around with this text and see what we come up with um, so uh, who's going to read the next one? Maybe Krim, are you going to read on our representative? Okay. Our rep rep representative. That, this, that's a long word. We Where's the stress pattern? It's a representative. I think it's the third syllable. Representative. Okay. Our representative also reports that no ticket was issued in return for the order of the three dollars. Dollar. No ticket was issued in return for the. Um, we might have to go back and look at the notes again. So here we're we're missing something there, aren't we? Any ideas? No ideas yet. Our representative also reports that no ticket was issued in return for the something of three pound. Don't like price or entry fee, um, entrance of? fee. What was your word? Sorry. Amount of. Maybe yeah, maybe. Okay, we'll leave we'll leave it for now and just see what if we can find any for definite. So, can Arga, can you read on? Apparently, mm -hmm. apparently, two exhibition rooms were closed without any explanation being given, and two other rooms were inad inadequately inadequately inadequately. So the stress there is uh, inadequately inad ad inadequately. 
what's the word eight though? I like Duarte's uh, seven though. Look at Duarte's chat. His word seven looks good, doesn't it? What do you think? The payment of three pounds. That looks very um, clear. Well, it looks solid. I like that word there. It makes a lot of sense. In return for the payment of three pounds. Yes, it's much better than the price, isn't it? In return for the payment. When you pay for something, make a payment, you get something back. But the price is just how much it costs. So I think that one's a good answer to art. So, Aga, what, where are you? are you? Are you finding any words after inadequately? I have no idea for this moment. No, not at the moment. So mm -hmm. let, me, let me read it and see if anything comes to my mind. Apparently, two exhibition rooms were closed without any explanation being given, and two other rooms were inadequately... Oh, oh I have some idea. Like, uh, we're, in, we're in inadequate, inadequately uh, l l lighted or lit. Lit? Mm -hmm, lit. Yeah. Because there right. was information that there were semi, semi dark semi, semi darkness. Yes, exactly. Good work. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes is on the case. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that must. That's a great answer. Inadequately lit, and it does tie up with the notes. That, like you said, great work. Yes. Hi, uh, Mohammed. Are you there? Zakaria, are you there? I need you on the microphone. We've only got two here. Krim, let's go on now then. So, oh, you are there. You are there. Yeah. That screen is disabled. Sorry, can you say that again? I can't catch you. The sound isn't good. That screen is disabled. I can not see you. You're really breaking up on me. Um, Aga, can you hear him at all? Yeah, I have very big difficulties to understand him. Yeah, I can't understand you very well, Mohammed, because it, uh, uh, your sound is breaking. Your video doesn't look too clear either. There's something wrong with the connection there. It's not really clear. Just say again. Can you say something? I was saying that uh, the screen is visible. I cannot see anything. I can't see you. Yeah, but I'm having problems with your sound as well. So I think I'll have to ask Krim to hear this, to read this one. Okay, Krim, I'm, I'm can you read the page. Uh, Sorry? I'm going to refresh the page and uh, we'll come back to you. Yeah, I'll post the link again because if you open the link, you can actually see it clearly. So the okay. link that I'm reading is here. It's called uh, Museum Inspection. So, Krim, I think you better take over from more than. Krim, are you, uh, Krimo, are you there? Now I'm missing Krim now. Uh, hello, Mohammed, you're back again. Krim, are you still there? Well, we're having a few problems, I see. So, Aga, let's go on, shall we? Can you read the next one? Mm, yes, more than of the ki uh, kinetic displays in the children's gallery work out. Hmm. I have to go back to the notes. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for more than, and after more than, we can have a number, or we can have um, something else. What else? What? What things can we have? More, More than, than six of the kinetic displays in the ch children's gallery were out. Mm. What could it? Could the meaning be for number ten? Uh, because I think that it's about those uh, kinetic displays that were not working. Yeah, and so there's a kind of phrasal verb for things that don't work. Yes, I have it in my mind. This, um, out something. Just wear out something? 
Yeah, two words I've got here. Could it be six out of ten for number nine, you said? Six out of ten. No, it can't be because it works. It fits, but we're only allowed a maximum of two words. So we could have 50%, more than 50%, or more than half, or more than six or something. They're, they're all good. But what's the word for not working for number 10? What's the word for not working? We're so, out of order. No, no. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. Come on, you said it, Nilly. Out We're of out what? of order. Yeah, out of order. Actually, let's have a look at out of order because out of order, it doesn't work. But there's another way you can use this word out of order. Um, do you know any other way to use out of order yeah, apart from not working? Um, I'm not so then I don't know. Well, not working is one way, like uh, the lift is out of order mm -hmm. or something like that. But there is another way I've heard people use it. Um, sometimes if somebody does something which is um, something which they shouldn't do in that situation with those people, maybe they that it's a bit rude or um, they're assuming too much or something like that, then you could say that was out of order. Okay. And then, then there's a literal meaning like um, out of order, it's not in the correct order, but in, in terms of phrasal verbs, yeah, it means it's not working, lifts were out of order. So I think 10 is good and the first one could be uh, more than half or more than 50% of the kinetic displays in the gallery in the children's gallery were out of order. Right. So, Mohammed, can you try? Let's have a sound check with you, shall we? Okay. Yes. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, better. Better. Yeah. So try try and read on from um, labels were. Sorry. So can you see the text? No, I cannot see the text. Ah, well, if you can't see the text, you're really in trouble here because we're okay. really working from the text. I sent a link. Did you see the link? The link? No, I cannot see anything. Can you see I the will... verb link chat? I will see your picture. Yes, I can, I can see verb link chat. Yes. In the verb link chat, I'm going to send a link. Can you see it? No, I haven't seen anything yet. Not in the. Uh, Google Hangout chat, but in the verbling chat. You're speaking about the verbling chat, are you? Can you write some words? Write some words in the chat, please. Let me see if I can see your text. Okay. I've sent a message right now. Strange, I can't see that. Oh, uh, something strange is going on. I've had problems all day today, actually. Couldn't connect at one point. Now I can't see anything. Can you see it, Aga? Can you see anything? No. No, I don't know what's happening. So I'm back to Aga again. And it seems just the two of us are going to have to do this because we're dropping out. Uh, people are dropping out for some reason. So um, where are we? Um, labels? Yeah, yeah, labels. Let's go back to there, shall we? Mm, labels, labels well, where 30 exhibits and 10 others had labels very close to the floor. I think it sounds weird if I say la labels were unavailable in 30 exhibits. The in sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? Maybe four is better. Um, labels were maybe missing. Uh, Duarte's saying, could it be not in? Uh, labels were not in 30 exhibits. Um, not shown, maybe, four. No, that would be three words. Not shown for 30 exhibits. So what should we go for for 13? Missing four, 
maybe. Let's read on for now and just see what the next gap will be. So labels were perhaps missing for 30 exhibits and 10 others had labels very close to the floor. Ah, let's, what does it say anything about um, labels in the notes? Let's see if there's anything about labels in the notes. Too close to the floor, there were no labels on 30 exhibits. So there were no labels for those 30. So labels were Missing four is one possibility there. We're not good. No, because now it would be that would be three words. Yeah, too many words. Mm. So um, I think only missing four is the only thing I can think of at the moment. Unavailable four or not available. No, that's two to three words. Yeah. Okay, so let's just stick with um, labels were missing for thirty exhibits. What comes next? very close to the floor. So our representative, read that one and see what you get. Our representative was disappointed as Kathy was and she reports that her sandwich was... Hmm. Our representative was disappointed as coffee was... What was the coffee in the notes? Let's see. Yeah. The notes about the coffee. I ran out of coffee. Yeah, so there wasn't any coffee. It had run out. Was um, well, I think we can find a few different choices there. What what have we got for twelve? Was finished. Coffee was finished. Don't like finished there. Why don't I like it? Because um, if you say coffee was finished, it seems like somebody else drunk it. You know, your coffee or something. I don't know. It sounds strange. It sounds like mm -hmm. um, there was coffee, but it's now been drunk. But coffee was. I prefer something like, well, unavailable maybe, or um, coffee was. not available or um, coffee was yeah okay well, well we'll stick with unavailable for now we can change it in a minute let's read on past that and she reports that her sandwich was not fresh not fresh yeah, that's because... exactly right isn't it was there is a word for not fresh do you know when when bread is not not fresh and there is a single word I could use as well. I don't remember this word. Yeah, there, there's one. Um, I'm just reading about the cough, the, the sandwiches. Um, leftover from the day before, yes. Um, stale is a word I know for that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe not fresh or stale. Um, old. Um, yeah not fresh. Okay, so in short, what have you got there? In short, she felt that both and exhibition arrangements fell well below what the public has the right to expect. Yeah, I haven't chosen anything yet for 14. I can't remember an answer for that. What shall we do for 14? And maybe that, um, um, like, a both food and exhibition arrangement, because there was some information at the at the very end that conclusion food and actual visit were disappointing. So. Yeah, I think that I think you're okay there. That's good. I think so. Now, I have got some, I know where I can find some possible answers, so 
Uh, let's just have a look and see if I can find them. Um, see what I can get here. One moment. I'll just see what possible answers there might be if there's a whole list of them here. Um, And then when we've got the right answers, or when we've got some good answers, our, our favourite answers, we can just read it through, quick, all, all the way through from the beginning to the end. So, uh, maybe if I refresh the page now, I'll just switch something. Let's see what happens. There, I've refreshed the page, and I've got some possible answers there. So, um, what I really ought to do is double up so that I've got both together and then one of them will have the answers like that and the other one the text like this so let's see which ones we prefer um, here are some answers and let's check the hours were, here, were there um, findings Finding, um, that's there. Recommendation is not there. Visits, not there. Um, opening time, we said, didn't we? Um, three, delay. Wait, we missed, we didn't think about wait. So let's see how that works. There was a 12 minute wait. It works, doesn't it? There was a 12 minute delay. I, I think delay seems to seems to work better for me mm. and no apology no excuse no explanation we there's a few there we just uh, said no explanation was offered by the attendant who unlocked the door in fact his uh, now you said behavior the first time around I said manner let's see oh we've, we've got them both both of them are there attitude conduct, language, so there are quite a few possibilities there. His behavior, I didn't like behavior at first, I don't know why, let's see. In fact, his behavior was rather unpleasant. But now I've seen it there in print, I think I like it more. So that was your choice, and it's a good choice. And my choice of manner was there as well. And his uniform could not be described. This one we had some trouble with, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Nobody came up with an answer for six. Oh, maybe we did mention those. Yes, that's clean, yes. Yeah, we clean. did mention some of them, yes. Mm. Ah, yes, I, th I could see that there must be an as. An as, that's uh, in all of those answers. How did I know that there would be an as? Could not be described. I think it was because of this, um, this expression to as a way of saying it isn't something. It could not be described as clean. I have one question. In reference to uniform, could you say something that the uniform is not suitable? Well, I, I don't see why not. Um, not appropriate, not suitable. Um, but, but the only thing wrong with that is that um, I feel this sentence is is really getting at that particular man, so, you know, some, something about him, um, because it's it's complaining about that man in particular. And I think that if the uniform wasn't suitable, the sentence would probably be aimed at the whole museum. So I feel there's something about the man here. In fact, his um, manner or his behaviour was rather unpleasant, and his uniform. So, maybe, it's it's not really wrong, but I feel that this is more aimed at him, and so because it's aimed at him, his uniform, if his uniform is unsuitable, then everybody's uniform is unsuitable, probably, because it's the, the uniform, isn't it? So, yeah. And then... Um, our representative also reports that no ticket was issued in return for the payment, I said, and then um, what have we got for seven? Admission charge, 
entrance charge, entrance fee. Payment is possible, isn't it? Lit, there's your answer. Lit, that was a good answer, but, and it's the only one listed here. And there's the answers about um, half or 50% or a number. Out of action. Yeah, we didn't think about out of action. So that what number is out of action? It's um, number 10. Let's try that. More than um, half of the kinetic displays in the children's gallery were out of action. Yeah, when would we use out of action? Um, yeah, I suppose if they're not being used, I think if something's out of order, it's not working because it has a mechanical problem or something like that. But out of action could mean that it's just closed. So I think here out of order is better. But I have seen out of action for some other things, like um, public toilets and things, because the doors shut. Someone just decided to shut it. So it's out of action, maybe. Out of order means it's really not working. There's something wrong with it. Labels were um, 11. What was the answer for 11? We've got missing from. Yeah, that was our top answer, missing from. Lacking from, absent from. Not available. Um, coffee was not available. And she reports that her sandwich was... Yeah, there's the two answers, look. Stale and not fresh. Ah, we didn't use this word, catering. Catering. Yeah, that was a much better word, isn't it? both catering and ex exhibition arrangements we just said food yeah so catering is a better word for, to use here mm -hmm. now what we'd like to do now see if you can remember um some of it see if you can just read the letter through can i does it fit quite nicely on your screen or are you reading from my screen here yes i'm reading from your screen okay i'll make it fit on the screen in one then so look, I'll just move that yours sincerely off the bottom there. So there we are. So let's try and read it all through in one smooth reading. Okay. Oops, sorry. There. Um, yeah, there we are. Okay, let's go. Here, uh, Dr. Crumpton. As part of our survey of local museums, a representative of the Barchester Consumers Group visited your museum on the 21st of August. We are sure that in the interest of providing a better service to the public, we would like to receive a summary of her finding. It seems that although you advertise an opening time of 10 a.m., there was a 12-minute delay and... I uh, <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Uh, what was that? A 12 minute delay and um, and no excuse. Uh, oh, okay. or, uh, that's I, I, one of the ones I remember. Yeah. I can't remember the others. Um, there were some others there, weren't there? No excuse was offered and no reason was given. Mm. Let's, do, let's do no excuse okay. then. No excuse was offered by the attendant who unlocked the door. In fact, his manner was rather unpleasant and his uniform, uniform could not be described as, um, as um, clean. Our representative also reports that no tickets was issued in return for the... Mm -hmm. I said payment the first time round, but that wasn't mm -hmm. one of the ones that was listed. But I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, what else was there? Let's have a look. Um, admission charge, entrance fee. Mm -hmm. 
I think the entrance fee is quite a good one actually. I like that because I hear it a lot, the entrance fee. Mm -hmm. okay. Especially not just for admission. So admission charge might be a very good one here, but entrance fee might be something which is not related to admission. Like for example, if you uh, take part in a competition or something and there's a prize for the winner and everybody pays an entrance fee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so apparently, what have we got there? Two exhibition rooms were closed without any explanation being given and two other rooms were inadequately... You got the stress pattern a bit strange on that word, um, inadequate. I'm just trying to think where you stressed it inadequately. Ah, oh, yes, I think you put the stress on the quote. Inadequate. You said inadequately. Uh, mm -hmm. But it should be second syllable, I think. So something like, um, let me just test this word. The way I usually test it is by over exaggerating. Something like inadequately. Inadequately. And then if I put it on the third, inadequately. Inadequate. Actually, the quote is the fourth, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because inadequate, there is a kind of soft syllable, inadequately. So how many syllables are there? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Five, I think, altogether. And I think the stress is on the second, inadequately. Okay, inadequate. Inade oh. Inadequately. Inadequately. That sounded perfect that time, yeah. Lit more than 50% of the kinetic displays in the children's gallery were out of order. Labels were uh, were missing from 30 exhibits and 10 others had labels very close to the floor. <laughs> Our representative was disappointed as coffee was... What what did they say for that one? Because uh, not available. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. why we said that as well at the beginning. It was not available, and she reports that her sandwich was um, was stale. In short, she felt that both catering and exhibition arrangements fell well below what the public has the right to expect. Yeah, except it's not catering; it's catering. Catering. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we've done it really, that's it. Um well um I don't know what you think of it, but you did quite well anyway. Mm. Yeah. Where where do you live? In Poland. Oh really? What part of Poland is it that uh, do you live in the South of Poland or um, up the north somewhere? The Where south, do you live? Yes. Ah, do you live, the, the, there's a city which I always wanted to go to. Um, what's that city down in the south that's very old Krakow. fashioned? Uh, eh? Krakow. 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 Krakow, yeah. yeah. I've never been, but uh, are you anywhere near there? Yes, yes, yes. That's the city where I live. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'd like to go there because I lived in Hungary for six years, but I didn't actually cross over to go there. Mm. And uh, the strange thing is, it's probably easier to get there from here, where I am now in England. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might go there uh, sometime because I've always wanted to go there. Yes, it's a, it's worth a see. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I think so. I think um, Warsaw is is. Uh, a lot bigger and more industrial and uh, I think Krakow is, is the kind of place I'd like to go to. Where have you been? I mean outside Poland, have you been to different countries? Yeah, I've been for example to England. Yeah, where, where have you been in England? I have been in London and also just on one day trip in Oxford. In Oxford. Oh yes, Oxford. Yeah, I, I've been to Oxford a few times. I like the buildings there, stone buildings. Yes, uh, I had just few few hours of the trip, so we didn't manage to see too many things. But but yes, you could feel the atmosphere typical I think for the city. Have you ever been to Canterbury? No, I that's haven't. where I was born in England, and um, I work there now. 
Yeah, thanks, Duarte. Um, yeah, I, I've, I'd like to suggest that if you go, if you get the chance, go there. It's not a, a big city, but it's a historic city with quite a lot of things to see. Have you heard of Chaucer, Geoffrey? Uh, yes. Yeah, Chaucer and um, the book. What's the book called? Chaucer, um, the Canterbury Tales. Have you heard of this one? Mm, this one, no. Yeah, it's quite an important book for English, actually, because it's said to be probably the first book that's written in um, in English as as we know it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's mm -hmm. a little bit old English, not not modern English like Shakespeare is really the beginning of modern English, and so a lot of um, idioms and expressions come from Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. But we've got two writers here. We've got. Uh, Christopher Marlowe with a big theatre, mm -hmm. and you can go and see things at the theatre. It's quite nice. Let before I go, if you've got a moment, let me just see if I can show you um, what it looks like, mm -hmm. and then I'll say good night. So, um, see if I can find it. The street near the school. So, um, Canterbury, and now see if I can find anything that. that the streets. There's the cathedral, of course. Mm -hmm. Old buildings. Ah, oh, this is nice. This is right in the in the centre of the city, but this is probably more representative of the kind of place. So look, you can see the kind of place. See the yeah. old style buildings. Mm -hmm. That's just around the corner from the main gate into the cathedral. My school is just down uh, past those two buildings at the end, with a kind of Tudor style. Turn right and turn left, and there's my school. Oh, cool! And is it is it a big city? No, uh, oh, no. Uh, no, it's it's not. It's there are some. It's quite important. It's probably only about fifty thousand people. Mhm. Mm so it's got and it's quite good. It's got park and rides all around it. It's busy. It's a very busy city. Uh, it's full of people um, from different everywhere in the world. You know, there's always people from every country there. You, you always meet uh, people from every European country, uh, from America, even New Zealand and Australia. All the time you meet different people from different places because it's quite popular with tourists. Mm, that's nice. Like yours, like your city. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of tourists, especially now. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you. So I'll have to leave it there and say good night. Catch mm. you again. I Good hope. night to you as well. Thank you, everyone, and uh, uh, all of the other quiet people in the chat. I was expecting it to be a bit busier, but it, uh, you know, I just came in at the last minute tonight because I saw the gap there, and I thought we we don't really want a gap. We want uh, something happening all every hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good night then. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Mm -hmm.